I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on markup. Now this question is kind of unique since here the markup is based on selling price. So let's read the question properly. Cost of an item to the retailer is $1.40. Find markup on the item if markup rate on the selling price is 56%. So we are given markup rate on selling price. Remember most of the time we are taking markup rate based on cost price not selling price so in that regard this question is very different i like you to pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestion now let's begin to solve this in similar way as we did for rest of the questions on markup so what i will do here is we'll make our standard table right so this table relates cost, markup, and selling price, their value, and percentages, correct? So we have three columns and three rows. In the first row, we can write cost plus markup is equals to selling price. That is the relation which relates these three variables, correct? So that is the relation. Now, in our question, what are we given? Cost of an item to the retailer is $40. We are given the cost of $40. Find the markup on the item if markup rate on the selling price is 56. So that is the rate of 56%. But this rate is based on selling price, not the cost price. This is kind of important. So we are working on selling price as our base, not the cost price. Okay, so this is the question for you. Uh, we need to find the markup. We need to find the markup. So that is the question. I hope the question is absolutely clear. You can now pause the video and answer. Okay, now in such situation, what can we do? Since markup is based on selling price, we'll take selling price as 100%, right? Now, what does it mean? It really means that if I have this circle representing complete selling price, it has kind of two components. One is the cost and the other one is markup. So markup is slightly more than half. So I'll just kind of do it like this. Okay. So we have 56% as markup and the cost is how much? So out of 100, we'll take away 56, right? So what we can do here is percent cost basis, base is sales, correct? That is important to understand. So percent cost is 100% take away 56%, and that is equal to 44%, correct? So we know this is 44%. So we can write this value here as 44%. Now we know 44% of sales is $40, correct? So now what do we know from here? So this is first part. Second part, what we know here is 44% of sales is $40, right? The cost. If I write it in the equation, 44% can be written as 0 0.44 or 44 over 100, right? 4400 of means times, sales is $40. You can rearrange and find what sales is, right? So from here, you can rearrange. So sales is equals to 40 times 100 over 44, right? So let's calculate this answer. Sales is equals to 40 times 44, right? I hope you can see, I mean, sorry. 40 times 100 divided by 44, right? That is the total sales in decimals, 9090. So we get a value 9090, right? So we can write this as 9090. So you could write this as $90.91, right? Rounding it to the 10th place, 100 place. So $90, 90 cent, 91 cents becomes the sale price 
for for this item correct so i hope you understand and appreciate the steps what we have done here is we are taking markup based on selling price right so 56 percent is based on selling price so the whole selling price is comprising of 44 percent as cost and 56 percent as markup and that helps us to solve this question right so the answer is find the markup we have to find the markup so markup m is equals to the selling price minus cost price which is 1091 take away 40 which is 50 91 dollars right so that is how it is so to find the markup uh, we have to find from here markup is equals to sales minus cost price so that is 90 Point nine one take away 40 and that gives you the answer of uh, 50.91 right so so that is your answer so we get the answer here which is 50.91 correct so I hope the steps are absolutely clear follow these steps to understand how to solve questions where Markup is based on selling price. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.